Once the new prosecutor appears, you can now examine the area in the upper left-hand corner. We have the jacket enclosed within a picture frame. There is a giant contradiction right here in front of us. Contradiction? Wait a minute. Hmm, that makes Edward sort of sound like a certain spiky-haired defense attorney. Nah, no. Nah. Anyway, no, we are not going to find contradictions. We are going to find deductions. Move the cursor on top of the thing, which is creating a contradiction. In this case, it is the bullet hole. Then you need to deduce something by finding a piece of evidence which contradicts the thing you have highlighted. In this case, the bullet hole contradicts our discovery that there was only one shot fired by the murder weapon. So, does that mean there was a second gun at the scene of the crime? Sounds like handy information to keep in mind for our logic function. Well, that's because it's a secret safe. No, oh, it's just a safe for keeping evidence. But of course, because Edgeworth wasn't here going to trial, he doesn't have any Edgeworth. <laughs> Wait, I mean, he doesn't have any evidence inside the safe. Sorry, I misspoke for a second there. Anyway, what you want to do is take a look at the keypad. Interesting. Ah, logic is the only way around this particular setback? Alright, you know what that means, everybody. It's logic time! If you want to connect the question of the killer's goal to the fact that the fingerprints were wiped off of the safe, The fact that the killer tried to break into the safe kind of tells us what the killer was trying to do inside this room. The killer was, perhaps, trying to steal something. This is a new piece of information in our logic bank. And that means we can use logic one more time. 
connect the motive of robbery to the signs that there was a struggle inside the room, Edgeworth comes to the conclusion that perhaps the files are in disarray not because there was a struggle between the victim and the murderer, but because the murderer was searching through all of Edgeworth's files. There's only one way to test this theory, so let's put all the files back where they belong. There is a problem with this crime scene, so it's time for us to do deduction, just like we did earlier in this video. Point out the bullet hole. And say that it contradicts what we already know about the crime scene. Namely the fact that the victim was shot in the abdomen. The bullet hole is far too close to the ground for something like that. So that must mean that the files were in a different order at the time of the shooting. Turns out that the files were in numerical order at the time of the killing, which means somebody messed up the files before the murder, that is somebody messed up the files and put them in numerical order, and then somebody messed up the files again after the murder. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. Somebody messed up the files twice before the murder, and after the murder. There is one last thing to look at in order to end the investigation. It's those books in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now that the files are back in order, we can clearly see that somebody wrote the word gumshoe on the files in blood. Yes, and a file was stolen. Also important information. What was the killer really after? 